In Module 3, Lesson 9, we're going to continue using if-then moves and solving equations. Every day, Heather practices soccer and piano. Each day, she practices piano for two hours. If after five days, she practiced both piano and soccer for a total of 20 hours, how many hours, represented by H, per day did Heather practice soccer? So what we have then is soccer and piano. Piano is two hours per day. which we're then multiplying times five days. And soccer equals H, or five times H more accurately because we're talking about five days. Then if we write our equation, 2 times 5 plus 5 times h equals 20 hours. And to solve, we do the math. 10 plus 5h equals 20. And if we subtract 10 plus 5h minus 10 equals 20 minus 10, which gives us 5h equals 10. And then if we divide by 5 on both sides, we know that h equals 2 hours. So 2 hours a day for piano and 2 hours a day for soccer. Now extending that, every day for five days, Jake practices soccer. Over the five days, he also practices piano for a total of two hours. If you practice piano and soccer for a total of 20 hours, how many hours each per day did Jake practice soccer? Well, hopefully you see a lot of the same numbers because they're telling us that piano is 5 times 2 and soccer is 5 times h some number and all together 5 times 2 plus 5 times h equals 20. The same way as in our problem before. We do the math, 10 plus 5h equals 20. And you can see that that is the same equation that we had for Heather. So h equals 2. Example one, Fred and Sam are a team in the local 138.2 mile bike run-a-thon. Fred will compete in the bike race and Sam will compete in the run. Fred biked at an average speed of eight miles per hour and Sam ran at an average speed of four miles per hour. The bike race began at 6 a.m. followed by the run. Sam finished the run at 2.30 a.m the next morning. First of all, how many hours did it take for them to complete the entire bike-a-thon? Well, elapsed time in this circumstance is going to require a little more checking around. They started at 6 a.m and they didn't finish until the next morning at 2.33 a.m. So it's not 24 hours. But 
But if we go from 6 a.m. to 2 o'clock a.m. the next morning, we would have 20 hours. And then we have an additional 33 minutes out of 60 minutes in an hour, which we could simplify to 11 20ths. which is 55 one hundredths of an hour. So to be perfectly accurate, the number of hours is 20 and 55 hundredths. If T is how long it took for Fred to complete the bike race in hours, write an expression to find Fred's total distance. So distance is rate times time. And what we'll do is fill in the information that we know. We know that Fred biked at an average speed of 8 miles per hour and Sam ran at an average speed of four miles per hour. And the total time it took them to finish the race is 20 hours, or 20 and 55 hundredths of an hour, or hours. And so since Since Sam runs at an average speed of 4 miles per hour, our rate is 4. And our total time was 20.55 minus T, which is how long it took for Fred to complete the bike race. Okay, so the distance we're looking for So Sam's expression He's doing, his distance is 4, his average speed, 4 miles per hour, times the total number of hours minus t, which is how long it took for Fred to complete his. So Sam is 4 times 20 and 55 hundredths minus t. Fred, on the other hand, was an average speed of 8, and it took him t hours to finish. So Fred's expression is 8 times t. Time that we have is represent, representative of both of them put together. And the total length of the bike run of on is 138 and 2 tenths miles. That's the total. So we need to know these two together to write our equation. Now once we have that information, our equation will be 4 times 20, 55 minus t plus 8t equals 138 and 2 tenths. And from that point, it's just the math. But setting it up, We've got to do some labeling, and we've really got to look through all of the pieces of information that we have. Does it take a little bit of time, a little bit of 
effort, yes. And then when we go to solve, so when we distributed the 4 across the 20, 55 minus t, we would get 82 and 2 tenths minus 4t plus 8t equals 138 and 2 tenths. Then we combine like terms. And if we change this to addition, and then change the sign of the number after it, we would end up with 4t after we combined. Plus 82 and 2 tenths equals 138 and 2 tenths. And then subtracting 82 and 2 tenths from both sides would give us 56 and 4t equals 56 divided by 4 means the t is 14. And t, remember, was how long it took Fred to complete the bike race. Now finishing up then, <clears throat> we would substitute 14 for t in both of these equations and find the distance for both Sam and Fred. For Sam, we have 4 times 2055 minus 14, which is what t was. And 2055 minus 14 is 655. So when we multiply, we find that Sam's distance. was 26 and 2 tenths. Fred, when we substitute in, is 8 times t, which was 14, and 8 times 14 is 112 miles. Remember, Fred biked <clears throat> while Sam ran, so it makes a lot more sense that Fred would travel a longer distance than Sam. Now, in question F, they asked how far did Fred bike and how much time did it take him to complete his leg of the race? Well, we know that Fred biked 112 miles. So we found that out up above. That his time was 14 hours and his rate was 8. So 8 times 14 was 112 miles. 112 miles in 14 hours. Then in G, they ask us how far did Sam run and how much time did it take him to complete his leg of the race. We're doing that in parts. 
So if the total time is 10 hours and Fred's time is 6, then Sam's time would be 4, which is 10 minus 6. And in 15 hours, if Fred, Fred's time is 12, Sam's time would be 3, which is 15 minus 12. In 20 hours, 20 minus 8 is 12. In 18 and 35 hundredths, if Fred's time is 8, Sam's is 10 and 35 hundredths. And finally, looking at our original expression, 20 and 55 hundredths minus whatever Fred's time was. Our final example, Shelby is seven times as old as Bonnie. If in five years the sum of Bonnie and Shelby's ages is 98, find Bonnie's present age, but use an algebraic expression, uh, approach. So what we want to do is first of all label, very important to label, Bonnie and Shelby. And our first column is going to be now. And our second column will be in the future. Okay. Shelby is seven times as old as Bonnie. So that means that right now Bonnie is X years old. And Shelby is seven times X. Now in the future, it says if in five years, the sum of Bonnie and Shelby's ages is 98. Find Bonnie's present age. Well, five years into the future, Bonnie will be X plus five years. And Shelby will be seven X plus five. And altogether, in five years from now, Bonnie's age, x plus 5, plus Shelby's age, which is 7x plus 5, will equal 98. So now we combine like terms and solve. x plus 7x is 8x and adding our constants together, 5 plus 5 is 10. And that, of course, equals 98. So doing the math, 8x will equal 88. And so x equals 11. That means that right now, Bonnie is 11. And that's what they asked us.